Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, Ness and Jeff returned to Dusty Dunes Desert in order to track down Tolerama and the mystical gourmet yogurt machine, which only makes trout yogurt. But we need that trout yogurt because Monotoli's maid is looking for some to appease their special guest, who I can only presume is Paula herself, since the department store spook uh, mentioned something about Paula being with Monotoli. Very vague references, and it's a lot of strings of, of assumptions, but that's indeed the right assumption. This time, we're going to be making our way through the monkey caves, trading items to a handful of monkeys in order to meet Talarama himself to get the yogurt machine to do all the things. So, starting off, I'm going to try and do my best to go the most sensible route, and <laughs> it's still going to be pretty nonsensical because already we have to go down the right path, unlock it. The enemies will not attack us because they are wimps. Whoa, there's a wet towel inside. Ness takes it. Now, at this point, I need to turn around, but I will make note of the fact that this monkey wants a protein protein drink. Protein? Yeah, protein. And this monkey wants pizza. Just pointing that out for future reference. Now that we've unlocked the right path and already confused myself, we have to unlock the left path. This guy wants a picnic lunch, which we purchased, thank goodness. Picnic lunch is yours, all yours. Get out of my way, please. This has a pizza in it. Whoa! Oh, wait, 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 I need to do... Uh, th this will be fun. I'm going to do a different voice every time. Whoa! There's a pizza inside. Now this monkey wants the wet towel that we just got. However, this monkey wants pizza. Now, important note, warning, warning, flashing all over the screen, maybe. Give the pizza to this monkey, not the other one that we've already encountered that wants it. Because if we give it to the other monkey, we, do, we get no more pizza throughout this cave. We have to go out, find the nearest phone, call Mo Mock Pizza, and order pizza. But if we give it to this monkey, there is pizza right through this hole which is important. It saves us a lot of backtracking. Okay. G I gave it to you, now walk out of the way. Thank you. In fact, Karma came right back and said, A pizza! See, I told you. This is the right path. And this monkey will give us a fresh egg. I don't want a fresh egg right now, but we rem remember this monkey for later. Now, the other monkey wants the wet towel, which, like the polite boy I am, I will give it to him. Here you go. Wet towel. Now, I apologize for some of the silence here. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything right. I would rather uh, sacrifice some of my commentary and be silent but get things correct, uh, get things right, than talk a lot and get things horribly wrong and have to cut around. So, pardon me if I do this, but even with a guide, it's highly confusing. You have to constantly look over at the guide to make sure that you're doing things right. Okay, I have a hamburger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get, drop the vial of serum, which I got last episode. And, okay. Give the hamburger to this guy. It doesn't matter which guy you give hamburgers to in this case. Uh, one of them opens up a fire pendant. Wait, didn't I just give it to him? One guy opens up the path to a fire pendant, the other one opens up the pathway to a broken p tube. Though don't worry, I will be getting them both this episode. Okay, new voice. Whoa! There's a flame pendant inside! Ness takes it! Interesting thing, uh, my, my guide, which is the, like, the official online starman.net guide, uh, calls this item the fire pendant, which makes me think that the flame pendant is a uh, renamed item from the SNES version to this one. Interesting. Not sure if that's true, uh, but it could be. Okay, this... Oh, man, that's another thing I don't like. Why do I have to give the item over to Jeff in order for him to equip it? It's just kind of annoying. Okay. Equip. Flame Pendant. It grants uh, a protection from fire attack, so PSI, uh, yeah, PSI fire, alpha, beta, and higher levels will not harm you, or will not harm the the holder of this item, and it also grants 15 defense. 
Now, let's go back through here and go... Oh boy, this is so confusing. Go all the way back to the beginning and take the right path. Man, this is confusing. Go through this, make sure I have the items necessary. I have a pizza, I have a ruler. Okay, I'm good. I am good. Let's go through here. And this monkey now wants the pizza, which we can provide for him since we did not give him pizza first. Well, oops, I spoke to you in the human language. If you have pizza, please give me one. And pizza. Now, I apologize uh, again if my voice sounds a little bit interesting. Um, this is the time of the year where my allergies bother me, and they bother me a lot this time of the year. I remember in Skyward Sword, not the game Skyward Sword, but in my Let's Play of Skyward Sword, um, I was sniffing a lot and sneezing, and it was really hard on me, and it's no less hard. Okay, this guy wants a hamburger, this one wants a king banana, which we've never seen before. So, we backtrack. More backtracking, hooray! We backtrack, because now that we have the protein drink, we can give it to him. Give you one. In fact, last night, I was, wa um, I was watching some videos because I couldn't get to sleep because of my allergies. I was waiting for the allergy meds to kick in. And I was watching videos, and I finally got around to watching Kung Pao, which has been highly recommended to me on multiple occasions. And finally, I watched it, and I have to say, despite it being slightly inappropriate, it is one of the funniest things I have ever seen. Okay, uh, which can I borrow? You can borrow my ruler, but never give it back. It is dead to me, it is also never alive. Finally, I can measure my own tail. Well, good for you. <laughs> I don't... I never have done that, because it would be zero inches. One of my friends can use the teleport. What? You've never heard of it? Then, I'll give you King Banana. That didn't make sense, did it? But, anyway, I'm attractive, don't you think? Uh, I cannot answer that, because then I would probably go to prison. Now, for the record, this monkey wants an egg. And the monkey at the opposite end of the entire cave has a fresh egg to give. So that means, you know what that means, kids? That means uh, we backtrack all the way back to the main room. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I've made this mistake before. You don't. You go down this path, go past the area where you got the protein drink, and give the king banana to this kind gentleman. I'm K-Man K, or Man K-Man. Okay, King Banana, he wants that. I have it. And you can move out of the way. You move this way. You go that way, I'll go home. There's a Kung Pao reference for you. Now this carries a hamburger, and the other thing carries a picnic lunch. Uh, new voice, um... Whoa! There's a hamburger inside, which that, that actually sounded like a very angry burp. What? Okay, that was even worse. That sounded like I was gagging or choking on something. The, there are so many presents, I'm going to run out of voices. Now, we have a hamburger, so let's give it to this guy. Ah! Okay, hamburger. And he, in here is a bag of Dragonite. Whoa! That was, that was actually, uh, that was the weirdest one yet. Okay. Bag of Dragonite. Help! If you sprinkle the powder on one of your friends during battle, that friend turns into a dragon and attacks all enemies. Gone after one use. This is one of the strongest items in the entire game. Does a lot of damage. It's almost like, it's pretty much PSI Flash Alpha Beta Omega to reference my own series. It's like the beginning, middle, and end of all creation. Okay, let's avoid this guy. I'm really getting good at avoiding enemies. And go to... Was this the main room? Is this the main room? Um... No? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm already lost. Now, we go back to the left path, now that we have a hamburger. And we also go back to the left path so we can get that fresh egg. This guy had the wet towel, and through here we got the hamburger and the ruler. And in here, these are the two brothers that wanted hamburgers both. And this guy will be given a hamburger by us. Hamburger! Here you go. He will move out of the way, and if I can go into his room, 
I can dig around in his trash can, and inside is a broken tube. Now, this is, to clarify something, uh, a, a point that I've been mistaken on for some time. Whenever I talk about the HP sucker, I mistakenly call it the Hungry HP Sucker. Now, I know it's not called that, so it's not really a mistake by me, but I still slip up from time to time call it the Hungry HP Sucker. Now, this broken tube, when Ness reaches, um, when he reaches, or sorry, not Ness, when Jeff reaches 36 IQ, he can repair the broken tube, and that item will become the broken, uh, not the broken, the Hungry HP Sucker. Also, I'm completely lost, aren't I? I am completely lost. Where am I? Where on earth? Oh, I took a wrong turn. Okay. Through here. The left path. I go left. And go left again. Man, I was lost. Fresh egg. This guy gives me the fresh egg. He tell This guy tells me about the Dragonite. So he's pretty useful. But also, he gives me the fresh egg, which means I have to run through this place as fast as as humanly possible. You do not need a skip sandwich, although that would be kind of cool if you did. I mean, it'd be a little bit cheap, but it'd be cool if that was a thing. Because you never need skip sandwiches, to my knowledge. I mean, unless there's a secret that I even I don't know of, and it requires a skip sandwich, but I don't think there is. Okay, just as long as you keep running and you know where you're going, uh, you should be able to reach the guy who wants the egg. Go here, go here, It'll bring us to this room. That woman wanted the ruler. This man wants the egg. Meow, meow, meow. Fizz, fizz, fizz. What strange chattering for a monkey. Coo, coo, coo. Pe, pe, pe. If I eat a fresh egg, I re I'll recover some health. Cro, cro, cro. Breep. If you have one, can I have one? Yes, you can. Take my egg. Take it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Gulp, gulp. See? You did. Move out of my face. There you go. I'm so proud of you. Oh boy, okay. Now this contains a- I don't even know what this contains. This- let's see here. There's a neutralizer inside. Okay. Now the neutralizer is a one-time use item that resets the abilities of all creatures to their normal level. Or not creatures, I'm using Magic the Gathering terms. So, any changes that have taken place due to PSI and such are neutralized. It neutralizes all shields, either friend or enemy that were in effect. So, against a foe, in fact, there's one, there is actually one foe that I'm thinking of right now that this would be possibly broken on. Um, and using it on, uh, in battle will pretty much destroy all shields, which I am immediately thinking of a certain enemy that, that would be invaluable on. Okay, I am lost again. I, it's so easy to get lost here. Okay, I took a wrong turn. I need to go back to the monkey who wanted the pizza right here. Take a left turn. Keep going left. Magic butterfly. I've taken no damage, but I am not at full PP because of that healing beta in the last episode. And now, I think my tutorialism has been good. I have finally re received my just reward for it because I did not sidetrack, and it has led me to the end. We are done with the monkey caves. Thank stinking goodness. Oh snap, I forgot something before the episode began. Oh boy, uh, I forgot. <laughs> it's funny because I read up on it before the episode did begin, so I I should have remembered that I needed S I need a S Corgo Express to bring me the pencil eraser. My bad, I love Telerama the most, he's a friend of the monkeys. Here's a song that I made up for him. I don't care. Yay, I'm back! Ah I'm back. I'm back. I'm back! I'm back! And it's- the pencil statue's gone! And I'm back! Da. <sighs> okay, <laughs> here's our reward. Whoa! There's a brain food lunch inside! Ness or Jeff or whoever- who are- who are you? Are you- I don't know, you're Paula, right? When eaten, you recover about 300 HP and about 50 PP. Now, I'm not sure if there is kind of an exploit where you can use this infinitely, though I will look it up later. Uh, there's a cup of life noodles inside, but he has too much stuff already. Uh, what can I, <laughs> what can I ditch? Uh, not much. I mean, I could ditch the HP sucker, because I don't really need it. Um, 
you know what? The Great Charm probably doesn't sell for that much, so let's drop that. It is fairly old and we'll never need it again, so... Whoa! There's a couple of life noodles inside! Uh, let's talk to Talarama. No, let's talk to the monkey first. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> what, is that like the taunt that I've taken a long time? Well, shut up! You'd take long, too, if you had to go through what I went through. Okay. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you, and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. When these fo four powers gather, twisted space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? Doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. You cannot carry anything else. Why don't you get rid of something and get the gourmet yogurt machine? Oh man, what do I have to get rid of? Uh, pick and clunch, you are gone. Oh wait, <laughs> oops. Picnic lunch. Sorry, I faked. I faked it. You're gone now. Okay, you <laughs> say everything you just said. Sorry, I um, I had full pockets. My bad. You healed me again. This is supposed to sound awesome, but it's the second time, so it's really not as much. Doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and da -da -da. did you come here in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. Ness got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't, will not be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn this special power? Ha ha ha. That's wonderful. Speak to the monkey over there. Can't get going out of that cow. I'll teach you teleportation. Let's go outside. I have to leave this place? Couldn't you teleport me out? That's not fair. So not fair. Okay, let's get out of this place. <sighs> well, at least I'm done, so I can celebrate in that respect. I am done with the monkey caverns, and I am also done. Ah, <sighs> good. Now I can talk about things that I want to talk about, but I couldn't because I wanted to focus on things. I got a new computer, and it is cool. There, I talked about... <laughs> I talked about what I wanted to talk about. Let's talk to this monkey. But seriously, the new computer I got puts my tower, which I got last year, and it's all already amazingly powerful. It puts that one to shame. It has like a solid state drive, it has 4 gigabytes of video RAM, it has a GTX 960. Oh man, this thing purrs like a kitten, and it is also a kitten. He 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 he. Follow me. Like this way. And stupid mole playing rough always spawns there. I've probably killed him four times just walking by. He's like a troll, but also the worst troll. He's like, hey, I would like to steal your stuff, and I'm like, no, sorry. Okay, I'll do a teacher's demonstration. You, if you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. The skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. Running around at the speed of sound. I went to Foreside and returned. I, sh I showed you the basic straight course, but you can build up enough speed while turning, if you have enough room. Okay, why don't you try it, young man? I'm flying! I flew! <laughs> Ness learned how to use PSI... <laughs> that's, that's how I imagine he thinks now. I mean, before I imagined that he, everyone speaks, they have, people have two voices. They have their speaking voice and their thinking voice. Their thinking voice usually emulates someone they admire, but their speaking voice is usually just their speaking voice. Take her! Great. <laughs> okay, the teacher is going home now. He's the best character. <laughs> he makes the noises. And for that, he's cool. Okay, PSI teleportation is awesome. It is our final thing that we learned in the thing, and it will do things. It has a PP cost of two, so if you don't have two PP, you're kind of dead. You have to do things the normal way, and you can just teleport. Watch this. TP! Oh, wait. 
I have to choose. I can teleport anywhere where I've been previously, Saturn Valley, which is really useful in case you want more peanut cheese bars. Uh, Foreside, which is where I need to go. But here's a thing. Winters is a place that we can go now with the group. And if you remember, there was a Your Sanctuary location in Winters. So we'll probably be going there soon. But for now, let's go to Foreside now that we... Yeah, we did get the yogurt machine. Let's go there. And a little known secret, it's not really a little known, but it's a thing I believe speedrunners do use. Uh, you can actually use this to just travel really fast because if you just go doop doop doop, you can run really far and do stuff. It's cool. I'm not sure if speedrunners use it. I think I've seen them use it once, but that might have been into a cutscene because if you crash into something, uh, which is what you have to do to cancel the teleport, then you suffer a lot of lag from it. So anyway, let's go into the Montoli building, shall we? Oh wait, 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 no, 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 my bad, my bad, sorry. Uh, there's, th there's this woman, who is the woman who wanted the, the yogurt machine. Yogurt, or let's talk to her first. I kept asking around for trout flavored yogurt, but... What? You have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the yogurt to dispenser. Now I can make trout flavored yogurt for my guests. You're so kind, I'll make some for you. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. She's a nice soul. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. She's a really nice soul. She reminds me a lot of Ness's mom. Like, really, she does. Maybe that's like Ness's aunt. That I'll imagine that. So, we have time in the episode, so let's progress on. Talk to the woman who wants us to stare, or not to stare, at her 8-bit hips. 47 for you stand at my hips. Why do you here? Forty seventh floor. She she really does seem perturbed. I wish I could figure out what is the problem. Okay, we can go through here because we don't want to go see Pokey. We want to go to the forty eighth floor. We're on the forty seventh floor, and now we have permission to go to the forty eighth. Shh, quiet. Aren't you Ness? Mr. Montoli's maid, Electra, told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Montoli's office on the forty eighth floor. Only you may go. Wait, but but I kind of have a friend with me. Is that okay? Like. I have a buddy. Is, is, are you cool that Jeff is with me? Are you really cool with that? 48th floor. A robot guard, bodyguard is patrolling the floor. Be careful. Okay, but I have Jeff with me. I'm not sure if you knew that. I have Jeff. Alright, the Monotoli building. Pardon me for the cut. I just need to make sure I knew what I was getting into. And I do now. There are sentry bots located in this area. Right here. They're robs. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're facing a Rob. Now, was Rob in existence when Earthbound was created? I have no clue. But I do have a clue about the sentry bots. They, oh boy, sentry bots, they use items. And now after Moonside, we're, we will be seeing enemies that use items. This particular unit uses, yeah. Bottle rockets. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Bottle rockets. Fire to bottle rocket does 130 damage to Ness. You want to attack it with physical attacks as best you can. Um, let's let's heal up. Life up. Let's use life up beta because he might hit me again. And Jeff, you use that uh, HP sucker to keep yourself topped off. HP Sucker comes out, does a lot of stuff, does the stuff, and does the stuff, and this does the stuff, and did I mention that they do stuff? I'm not sure if you knew that. There, stuff was done. Also, wait, 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 when did Ness get above 300 HP? That's new. I did not realize that. How much, what is his max? Oh, it is 301, okay. Okay, so you just reached it. Okay, I, I don't feel like such a, a dunce anymore. So. This is sort of like a maze, but also not very like a maze. Uh, these doors just lead to like the same place. Each pair of doors pretty much lead to the same room, with a few exceptions. Now this does not do anything. Th those doors are moot. Not mute, or moot. It's a new word. It's mute. Secret code, please say your name. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Can you please? 
Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Breaking the fourth wall. Good. I took no damage. Uh, like I just said, these two doors lead to the same room. And that is this room. Let's see if I can't avoid this guy. Can I... Oh, I can't do that. No. Okay. Yeah. Can I get through here? No, I can't. I have to fight him. Man. Well, I am cutting these battles out, so all is nice in the land of wonder. Now, like I said, that door leads to the same place, so we are going in the up uppity door. <laughs> yeah, the uppity door. That's the best door. And we want to go in here, because there's another guy. Oh my goodness. Please, just leave me alone. Ness's level is now 38. Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, HP went up by 2. Ness realized the power of PSI Flash Beta. Which I should probably explain. In fact, did I get a thing that I didn't explain? I have a feeling that I did. Let's look through this real quick. Um, looks like the answer is... No. Okay, I'm good. Flash Beta. Has a PP cost of 16, generates a strong flash and makes the enemy start crying un in control uncontrollably, and some instances, some circumstances I can't talk, can make the enemy feel strange, feel become numb, or even be destroyed. Now this is unique from uh, Alpha because it now has the chance of insta killing enemies, which is cool. Certain enemies, like all moves, have a strong weakness to this, so yeah, that's a thing. And in this present is a sudden guts pill. I don't have to explain that. Thank goodness. So, in other news, I finally completed that magic deck that I was telling uh, you about, and I'm happy about it. It's like completely done, and it's taken me two years to build. So, I'm probably don't tell. Shh, don't tell. I'm gonna, I'm going to play against my friends, and um, they know that for the past I don't know year or so. I made the deck as a quote-unquote placebo, where I just made fake cards to test it out so I could see what cards I want to buy, which ones I don't, and I'm actually glad I did because it helped me decide what to purchase. So they know I have this, and pretty much whenever I play, I bring it out just to see, you know, what will happen. And I'm going to, now that I have the complete deck, I'm going to put those paper slips back in and over the real cards, and then I'm going to uh, do a secret thing and... Okay, we're go through here. And then take them out one by one. It would be kind of cool. Vital Capsule raises vitality, which, what does that do? PP? Pee -pee? Is it PP? Pee -pee? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, what can I get rid of? I really wish I could get rid of the pencil eraser. Uh, what can I get rid of? Like, nothing. Um, sudden, no, the sun got its pillow cell. You know what? I will get rid of one ketchup packet because I can always buy one before I leave Foresight. Good idea do it. Uh, drop. Ketchup packet. Okay. Now the sudden guts pill, or the, sorry, the vital, vitality capsule, and I'm pretty sure that does PP. Pretty sure. Let's, let's use it and find out. Use it on, you know what, if it does PP, I would really want Ness to have it. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Now what does that do? What did that do? I, I always forget. Even though I did mention him in the Let's Play, I forgot. I think that was PP. Pretty sure that was PP. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. I got it, and now things are changed. I can never go back. Unless I do. Okay, through this door, I'm probably going pretty high up on time. But I don't want to end it quite yet. I just want to go through this door. No, I was right the first time. In this room is the maid herself. Your trout-flavored yogurt, sir. Ness got the trout flavored yogurt. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something like the other day and said, This is fit for a maid. That's not. I hope you realize that he's not nice. He probably just gave you trash. Uh, what, she gave me trout yogurt. What does that do? I'm still learning about this game. Fashionable treat for snobby, hot cuisine people in some big cities. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. Okay, it's well, pretty much worthless. But it's trout yogurt, and it was born out of Apple Kid's invention, so that's neat, at least. Okay, this is the final thing in our way. Ping, clankety, clankety, rattle, rattle, dwarl, squeak, tweet, tweet, clank. This is a boss, 
And like any boss, it is hard, like bosses tend to be. Rock and Beta is our friend, and just as always, big bottle rockets. Let me make sure that this thing does not have a shield equipped. It doesn't seem to have one. Good. Big bottle rocket away. Lost gear and some bolts, so basically did nothing. Did not work on the clumsy bo uh, clumsy robot. And it has a psychic shield, okay. Stumbled but fired a strange beam, so it's, it's pretty much useless. And a, a smash attack will do great wonders in this battle. And just like the other robots, it looks like just normal physical attacks will be good. It's actually easier than, uh, than those other robots, although it has a strong chance of dodging things. It's damaged us like once. No, 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 it solidifies us. It didn't damage us, so it's really weak. So just bash. One go getting battery. Oh no, he wants to go to the bathroom. And he can't, because I'm smash attacking him. Man, Ness, you're doing great. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the Runaway Five. Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch, and it stopped. Hee <laughs> yeah. Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. Clumsy robot stopped moving. Ness and Jeff got 16,000 experience for pretty much doing nothing. Jeff's level is now 34. Offense went up by one, speed went up by one, HP went up by one. The Runaway 5! Now, when we last saw saw them, I did say that was the last time we would see them perform, but I didn't see say that, that was the last time we would see them, period. So let's talk to them before I end it off. We would like to uh, we would like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. I thought that I heard a girl's voice. The room next door seems suspicious somehow, bruh. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we will head through that door and hopefully recover pa uh, Paula from the grasp of Monotoli and Pokey. See you guys next time. I release new episodes of Okami, uh, Earthbound, sorry, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment. Tell me I could make the next episode, preferably one that doesn't have as many monkeys, more enjoyable to your, your body and your ears. So I'll see you guys next time. And I'll stand right here like I am part or I'm the leader of the Runaway 5, because that looks really cool. See you guys then. Thank you.